This video is going to show you how to create your educator account on Flipgrid. So the first thing you want to do is go to admin.com. I'm sorry, admin.flipgrid.com and make sure you're on the educator tab. You've got a couple of options. You can click sign up today or you can create an account. Either one will get you where you need to be. So I'm going to go ahead and say create an account. Definitely want to sign up with Google. And then if you have more than one Google account, make sure you pick your school account. So normally I would pick this one, but since I already have an account, I want to show you the directions on how to create one. I'm going to go ahead and pick a non-school one, but you definitely need your school Google account. I'll go ahead and pick it. And then it's going to ask about you. So I'm going to go ahead and type my name. It wants a county, United States, even though these are alphabetical, United States and uh, well, the top three are at the top, so just pick that. Select a state, Indiana. All right, school organization or name. This is important because it will let you uh, coordinate with other teachers in your building. So Westfield Middle School, you might be Shamrock Springs, you might be Westfield High School. Go ahead and type it. What is the grade or age of your community? Go ahead and pick that. This will be good because it will help you um, when it gives you suggested ideas. It'll kind of cater them to that age group. And then your area or subject of expertise, you can pick all. So if you are a you know elementary school teacher, you kind of teach all of them. Otherwise, they are kind of broken down. I'm going to go ahead and say English language arts. Again, this is just its way to cater suggestions for you. All right, um, there's some information there. You're welcome to read it. But I'm going to go ahead and say create account. And then welcome to Flipgrid. I'm going to go ahead and start my grid. And what am I going to name it? So let's do this. A grid is like a, I don't know what I want to say, like a bulletin board where you have put all of your um, different assignments up on it. So a grid can hold all of the discussions for one topic or one class or one unit, however you want to organize it. But inside a grid, you can have many Flipgrid assignments. So some teachers are gonna to wanna to organize their grid by class period. Some teachers are gonna to wanna to organize it by subject. So maybe um, class period, first, first period, second period. Um, by subject, maybe this is your Flipgrid math or your Flipgrid language arts. So whatever you want to call it, go ahead and do that. I'm going to call it language arts period one. And this one is super important. You want to choose school email. This is a safety thing with student privacy. We don't want anyone on our grid who does not have the www.k12.in.us uh, email. This is going to protect our students' privacy. So definitely pick that one. Um, and then Flipgrid code. So if they're especially on an iPad or other kind of um, device, they're going to be asked to type in a code. Again, this is to protect our students' privacy. So you can make the code whatever you want. Um, I'm going to say LA rocks. Notice when I did LA, it said not available, but I kept going. And LA rocks is available. And you can, you know, try out whatever you want. The shorter, the better. Or, you know, real words versus just random letters. Um, so kids can type it easily. Then I'm going to say next. And then because I pick school email, I have to type everything after the at sign. So WWS. And again, works for student privacy. So I'm going to say next. And now I, my grid is ready. So I am all set. And once I'm in my grid, now is where I can make my topics. Okay, so these are my individual assignments. It's going to default to an introduction example there. You're welcome to keep it, or you can come over here and delete it if you prefer not to have it in your, in your grid. Um, I can add more grids, and then like I said, inside of a grid, I can add as many topics as I want. I would simply click Add New Topic here. And that's how you create your Flipgrid teacher account.